my friends have been telling me that Dundalk's this weekend, and I don't have a car built for Dundalk. See, the bay's empty. I have a whole bunch of cars that are half built, but let me explain Dundalk to you. Dundalk, I've always had a hard time at because they have like five rules and they're very vague. And I show up with a car that's half decently built to give me problems. I show up with a car that's stock to give me problems. Last year I went to Dundalk, pulled in the ring and the car died immediately. So this year I'm going to take the biggest pile of junk I have to Dundalk because Dundalk's only like $200 to win. So I thought about a couple of cars back here and then I said, you know what, Dundalk is like tomorrow. And I don't really have time to build a fresh car. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix the biggest pile of junk I have. And that's Newcomb. You guys think that uh, I'm going to be crazy for running this car again? You're probably right. There's really not much that I have to do to this car to get it to run again. Put a door on is one of the main items, actually. But this thing has sat here since Brooklyn, which was June 4th. Let's see. Oh, let's see if she'll fire up. All right, you ready? So today we're going to be getting this thing ready. Um, some points of interest that I got to work on is making some clearance for the tires. I'm pretty much just going to cut the bottom of this fender off. I'm just going to pretty much just cut the hood right across here. Pull the old radiator out, throw a loop line kit into it. Why am I cutting the hood up so much? Because rules say the car must have a hood, but I can't really open this one. There is no way I'm going to be able to get that open. These bolts have been sitting out in the, the rain and the weather now for probably three months. So I'm never going to get that undone. And these ones are zinc, so they'll come undone. Next thing is, is I got to fix the trailing arm on this side. That's not a big deal. I have a leaky fuel line. Not a big deal. I need to strap the tank down better. Fill up the, the sunroof. Put a window bar in because I took a lot of this stuff out so I could reuse it and then different rims and tires. Maybe I will leave these rims and tires because they're aluminums, they're good snows, I kind of need them for my scrap pile I guess. So I might as well just run these ones to be honest, just put some air into them and let's go. <clears throat> and then this side, this tire does not turn as you can tell by the drag lines. So I'm going to have to clear some sheet metal out from back here and then Maybe put a different rim on that's not into the body so hard. Maybe a smaller tire or something. But I don't really want to go too small because I'm almost bellying out. And the last thing is I'd like to kink this panel up. Because it makes it pretty hard to see out of this car. A lot of you guys have been, gonna, have been telling me just to scrap this thing. But this is the reason why I kept it. A derby in a day? Let's get this thing fixed up and get going.
Oh my god, this car's junk. <laughs> so I've cut a lot off of it. I've also cut myself. But this car's ready to derby tomorrow. There is so many things wrong with this car. It is not even funny. I'm gonna wait to post this video until after the derby because there's so many things wrong with this car. I don't want anybody knowing the extent of what is wrong with this car. Okay, so first thing, I had to cut off the front two feet of the hood, so I couldn't get it open. There was no way that was coming open. So I just cut it off with a sawzall. I looped the lines, and this is a horrible loop kit, but it's got pressure, so that means that water is flowing through it. I figured when it gets more and more pressure, she'll stand upright, and then let me know that she's got pressure still. Okay, so it's got a loop kit. Um, I did loop the transmission lines a little bit better because they were being pinched, but basically everything's exposed again. So this is probably going to turn out like my, uh, what do you call it? Heart attack, two, uh, heart attack 2.1 or heart attack point one, the original heart attack. This K frame is bent here. It's bent over there. Well, this is the subframe. Uh, the frame is garbage. This side, the frame is even worse. Both struts are bent. Steering or uh, tie rods are bent. I quickly threw a roof on as a passenger door. It's only held on with like seven or eight tech screws. This strut right here is so bent and it's not worth replacing. So I ended up heating it with a torch and then bending it somewhat straight, but the rim is bent. I ended up trying to push that pillar up a bit I still have to get my cameras on this car for tomorrow night, so I gotta do that. I gotta find out where they are. Oh, they're still in uh, Cannibal. Other than that, that's pretty much all I did to the back end. I fixed the trailing arm on this side, but the actual con uh, connecting arm is gone. As you can see, it's hanging down right over there. So this wheel is really not attached by that much. Driver door I pretty much straightened out. Oh, seat belt. I put a Camry seat belt in this, but turns out Camry seat belts are different than Solera seat belts. So I actually had to cut this seat belt buckle so it would actually go into that clip. So that was a little bit different. I wired up the fuel pump, put my emergency stop for the fuel pump in, put my window bar in. Other than that, that's pretty much what I did. Oh, what is that? That's a wheel weight. It's a wheel weight. I just tried driving this thing. It drives nowhere near square. So this is going to be an interesting, interesting car. Um, I really don't know what else to say about this hunk of junk. But Dundalk and I have had a pretty weird love-hate relationship. And I've never won Dundalk. I've never placed at Dundalk. Uh, I think the best I've ever come at Dundalk is maybe sixth, maybe fifth. Um... I've always taken cars there with high hopes and then been very rudely disappointed every time I go there. So it seemed to work for Barry. I brought a car that I did not care about, that I thought was going to do junk, and it surprised me. So let's do the same for Dundalk. Let's bring a piece of junk and see if this thing surprises me. To be honest, I'm quite surprised this thing still runs and moves. There's not too much left of this car. But let's clear all this junk out of the way and get this thing on the trailer. Well, a big pile of junk this thing is. It's still sitting tall, ready for another round. So thanks guys for watching and uh, be sure to check out tomorrow's video because apparently the wife says I might die. <laughs> I don't know if I actually will die, but with the shape of this car, if I'm gonna die, it's gonna be in this car. So stay tuned guys. See you back here tomorrow.